everybody I'm gonna make this like a short video just so you guys can see because I was having my little oil uh, oil pressure light come on on my 2005 Dodge Magnum 2.7 liter v6 so if you're I'm underneath the car right now I thought this was the best angle but you can see the oil filter in the pan and that's the front of the car that way and then I'm just kind of coming back straight below it you see the, the chassis, the frame there. I saw a video and it was really helpful, but I thought maybe this video might be a little more clear. I'm gonna zoom in. There's that green connector. It's got one prong in there. And uh, it's greasy, so I cleaned it up just so you could see, because I couldn't see it in the other video. And that's the oil pressure switch, oil pressure sensor, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I took that out. I put the new one in, that's the new one there. I got it at AutoZone for just under 15 bucks with a lifetime warranty. And then, uh, I'm gonna clean that up real good. I think I never really noticed like any leaking or anything on like concrete or cement, but you can see it was kind of dirtying up the pan and everything. So um, I'm thinking that was the problem we're gonna see because it's just like a dummy light switch that comes on. So again, that green little thing, there's a little red fastener. Just be very careful because it's hot and they're brittle, you know, so do this like on a cold engine. Just slide that off and then just be gentle, wiggle that one green thing off take out the old sensor clean it up I'm gonna clean this with some q-tip so it's got a nice dry contact and then we'll see how it works so hopefully that solves some problems and again it's right between this bar and this part of the chassis right there and it's real easy just like I said right there's the oil filter in the pan in the front of the car so hopefully this helps thanks